Hey guys, in this part of the tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to colour hair. So, I'm going to start off with a demonstration of how I do it. Now the way I do hair is I like to do it in a very painted style. So, um, I'm not really using any block colours at all, it's very painterly. But you'll see what I mean if that's quite vague. So, I've basically laid down a turquoise colour for a base. And I'm going to do a little tiny demonstration right now of how I do this. So you're going to want your base colour, which should be like a mid colour. So it's not too dark and not too light because we're going to add darker and lighter strands to it later. So what I do now is I go and add a darker colour like this. So I use the brush tool and paint tool side and I want the density at around 80 and the blending to be about 50 because we want it to blend into the hair a little bit. So I'm going to make it a bit bigger than that and I'm going to start adding strands. So I'm basically just using upward movements because I'm going from the bottom and I'm varying the pressure that I press down with my pen on the tablet to get darker um, strands and then I'll do that on the other side as well just adding in some more strands and this is very simplistic and it can be as messy as you want because this is just the first stage of adding to the hair I'm going to turn the blending down to about 25 so I'll put that on 25 make it a tiny bit darker so I'm going for this tone now and a little bit thinner and I'm now just going over I'm adding some more darker areas so I'm just darkening it where I feel it needs it and just adding some darker strands running through. Now the final stage involves using the airbrush tool on paint or side and if you're using any other kind of program most programs have an airbrush function so you're going to get the airbrush and you're going to get it really small and you're going to get it lighter than the original colour you used. Now, when I use the airbrush colour in, um, I'm sorry, the airbrush in Paint or Sigh, I like to use a texture on it, so I use um, fuzzy static and paper, just to give it a bit of texture, and then I just add these little lighter strands throughout the hair that I've painted in. So I'm just adding these lighter strands running through, and we end up with this kind of look of hair. So, the best way I can demonstrate this is by actually demonstrating it on actual hair. So, I've got the same character from last week, but I have completely rendered the face part of it and completely painted this part. So it's looking very different to last week, because last week it was looking how the hair is looking now. So, what I'm going to do is this hairliner is completely separate from the face which is painted. So underneath the hairline art, I'm going to add another layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to colour this in. So I think I'm going to give her pink hair. I think that'll look quite cool. So remember, you're going to go for a mid-tone because you don't want it to be too dark and you don't want it to be too light. So this is the pink colour I'm going to use for her hair. And I'm basically just colouring in this whole area of the hair. Okay, so I've completely coloured in underneath the line art. And another thing I've noticed is that because I've done the line art in blue, it kind of um, looks kind of weird over the pink. So I'm going to go into the top part of the of paint or sigh and change the hue of the line art. So I'm just going to do that by sliding this bar across and I'm going to make it more of a pinky tone so it will blend in fine with this line art. And I'm going to click preserve opacity on the layer that I've coloured in pink because we don't want to go outside any of this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge the layer above, the line art layer, with the pink hair underneath. So I just do that by clicking Control E or layer um, merge down. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the colour picker to get up the colour of the hair and then using the colour wheel I'm going to try and get a darker version of the hair colour. So this is what I've chosen 
actually you know what I'll go a bit darker than that this is what I've chosen to shade the hair with so remember we want to go in with our brush and you want it relatively small and remember you need to um, if you've done lines like I have you need to blend those out as well so I'm going to use the brush and I'm going to just use that to blend out the lines that were drawn by the line up because we don't want any harsh lines we want a very painterly feel um, I'm going to turn up my density and my blending up a little bit more so I'm just going to add lots of strands into the hair and we're just going to use this dark pink colour to do so Okay, so now I very roughly added in all the darker lines, so um, I'm going to step it up a bit more. And here where all the areas where I haven't blended out the line up, I'm going to just get the base colour again and I'm going to make sure I haven't got any of those purple lines with the line up showing. Okay, so at the moment we've kind of just got um, the mid-tones and the darker tones but we could make this look even better and I'm going to make even more, even darker tones so I'm going to turn down the blending quite a lot just so it's not as blended in and I'm only going to add it where I need it so I'm going to use these really dark tones quite sparingly So we've gone in and we've added some even, even darker tones, but the one thing that this hair is missing is some highlights. So I think this is one of the things that brings the whole look of the hair together in the end, is adding the highlights and it's actually one of my favourite things to do. But before we do that, I'm just going to up the saturation of this a little bit. And you can use the filters, um, say if you got to this point and you decided, no, I don't like this hair colour, you could use the hue toggle thing to change the colour of the hair. So I could suddenly decide, oh, I want her to have blonde hair or something, or ginger hair, and you could do that, but I'm just going to keep her hair pink. Now what I'm going to do next is, I could change the brightness. Okay, I might make it a tiny bit darker as well. There we go. So, actually, I think I've decided for a highlight, I'm going to use a kind of yellowy colour because you don't have to keep to the same colour. You could even use... Okay, I'm going to try this. This might not work. But, um... This might not work. That's not something I should be saying in a tutorial. But there you go. Um, okay. I could add some blue highlights. Mm, no, I don't think so. I think I'm going to play it safe, I'm going to go with some orangey highlights because I like to do that on pink hair sometimes. So I'm going to use the brush, I'm going to turn the density down quite a bit and I'm going to add some highlights in. So for highlights I'm using a kind of pale orange colour because I think it looks a bit more interesting in the pink hair if instead of using a lighter pink you can use a different colour.
Then we're going to do one more final layer of highlights. I know this is <laughs> a bit excessive at this point, but um, I'm going all out with this hair. So I've got a new layer and I'm going to go to Luminosity and I'm going to use the airbrush tool that I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to use a yellow, yeah, a yellow, and I'm going to make it quite small and I'm going to set this layer to Luminosity. And I'm just going to use that to add these little strands into the hair, like that. And it just kind of gives the hair some texture, and I just like how it looks. So you don't have to do this bit if you don't want to, you don't have to do any of these steps if you don't want to. But these are just suggestions of what you can do if you want to draw hair. So it's quite intense at that moment. I'm going to turn the opacity to about 76, so you got that. <clears throat> and yeah, I just really like it because it adds some texture in because you would have texture like this in the hair. If you would like to add even more, then I'd suggest creating a clipping group. And if you wanted to add some darker areas, I'd set the clipping group to multiply. Use an airbrush, uh, use a colour like a blue or something, and just paint in the darker areas. And don't worry, I'm going to turn the opacity of this down a bit. So in all the areas that you want to make look darker, I'm just going to paint that in. And then turn it down a bit in terms of the opacity. And then, and then you're going to layer, merge down, and then one final layer I'm going to use is luminosity and I'm going to use a yellow, yeah, yellowy orange colour clipping group again and then you're just going to select the layers you want to make, I mean the areas that you want to make shinier, so I'm just putting this over the areas I want to make look shinier and I do that like this and then obviously turn down the opacity on that as well and then merge down and finally if you're still not 100% sure on the hair colour you can just change that using the cube thing and I think I'm going to make it look a little bit more like oh she's got such a cool hair colour now it's kind of like a coppery colour I don't know but I really like that so there's my finished hair tutorial on how I draw hair I really hope it was helpful to you and if for some reason it wasn't or you have some kind of question let me know in the comments below and i will try and answer your question unless i can't in which case then i will try and help you the best i can anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial there will be another part to the series which is drawing short hair and male hair and there will also be another part where i'll be trying showing you how i do it traditionally and i really hope you've enjoyed the series so far bye guys Oh, 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 oh,